Good to have you back here again. Do you know something? A lot of people are making money from the AEC industry and they are not regulated. And you are there, an architecture student, you are wondering, how am I going to make money? When will I finish studies to become an architect to make money? Come on, you have to wake up. That's being in slumber. Come on, you can make money from the unskilled trade. You need to learn a trade. I emphasize that. Now, we have tiling. And do you know, as an architecture student, you can actually be a tiler. And a lot of people will be calling you to give you jobs. Architects will be calling you to give you jobs. Construction managers, con uh, contractors will call you to give you jobs and you will make mega money. That's if you're not the person that likes to stay in the office. It's very good. It's very good. Do you know the advantage you have? You have an advantage of understanding measurement. You have an advantage of understanding scale. So what else are you waiting for? The person who is doing tiling doesn't understand measurements. Some of them just, just that tape that they have and the tiling machine to cut it out. What's there to cut it out? What's there to level a floor? So you guys are just sleeping. I'm telling you, you're just sleeping. The kind of things that you should be doing at this age to make money, I expect to see this industry being awakened by upcoming professionals handling the industry so you see you can make money from tally next number two you can make money by just doing painting you see you see a painter walk into a site that is already completed and come up with a brochure and says oh i i did this painting this is the, this is a cut no 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 you can go and look for the paints from the paint manufacturer and have a catalog and show how those paints can be used in spaces. Remember, you would have even had a modeling skill if you had watched my previous video. You would have been modeling those things and applied the colors. You could have even rendered it with the color and go to meet the client or meet the person handling the site, not even the client, the person handling the site, the contractor and tell him, this is how this building would look with this kind of paint. And they'll ask you, can you do it? You are certain, are certain me. You say you can do it. You can go ahead and mix the paint. I want to tell you that the people who do it do not have the skill you have already. You already have so much skill in you that is inside of you, but you are not using it because you are feeling big. I'm a big boy. I'm studying architecture. You don't have money in your pocket. Sorry, that's a big problem. Number three, furniture making is another aspect that you can make so much money. A, lot, a couple of times I feel so upset when I give a carpenter some work to do. I end up doing the work. You know why? Because he doesn't even understand. After making a sketch and telling him this is how it should look, this is how I want it to be, with the measurements in my sketch, they will do rubbish. Can you, an architecture student, do such? <laughs> I know you cannot do the, uh, such a thing. If I tell you that it is this measurement, you would actually give me that measure, measurement. So what are you waiting for? It only takes you a few equipment. And once you get those equipment, you can have a, a saw that you cut, electric saw, a screwdriver, an electric rod, and that's it. You've set up. So what are you waiting for and you're complaining there's no money? There is a lot of money wasting. So do this and you will come back to thank me. Number four, interior decoration this is another fantastic aspect let me give you a little instance you know that guy that does pop and uh, you see him in the site he comes and begin to tell you that uh, this is how the pop should look who told you that that's how it should look some architects must have designed and the guy who is doing control or some of them might not have designed because some level of detail might not have covered that because the client did not pay for such but however you as an architecture student, you know what you would do? You would add value. You would add value by going into interior decoration because you go in with the idea of design and I must assure you, going into interior design is already a total takeover of the industry. Not just the design, but making of the interior. You get, it ranges from, even though I've mentioned tiling before, 
you can do ceiling you understand you can even do some embossments on the wall you know you can create re motifs and reliefs on the wall you can uh, put uh, niches on the wall that will help people store and place things beautifully in the house and this idea can only come from the design perspective not from an artisan's perspective but mind you this is unregulated so you can do it freely number five this is so amazing i must tell you that we have been telling you this we are sleeping but architecture students i'm talking to you this time around even architects who want to pick this up you can pick it if you're already an architect and you feel you want to diversify landscaping is one other aspect that you can go into and you can make a very good niche out of it you produce your caps you design the way you want the external space to be you put the floor the way you want them to be you see we most times external works are being left just for the person oh floor it up here floor it here no 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 if it is being done by an architecture student he's gonna take note of those gradients step down beautifully done uh, planting of uh, green and uh, flower pot decorations and remember all these moldings that you might be doing these are accessories that you can add to your service of landscaping even gazebos sculptural works that you need to do flower pots embossment on the walls and the floors and all those things can give you an edge over that artisan who is out there doing the job and making more money number six carpentry I will take this one in this sphere you know in carpentry we have uh, carpentry form work and uh, woodwork for instance if you're doing roof roofing you do woodwork at roof that's carpentry as well so you can even specialize as a roof maker as you do the roof structure or you can also go into specializing as a form work maker and as an architecture student no matter how intricate a form could be you will be able to think out how to create the form work for it you don't leave it in the hands of those who do not understand measurements and scale take for instance you give somebody an arch to do and it give you just uh, what you don't desire so you can actually do these things and make good fortune number seven is uh, masonry a lot of people run away from masonry you know why because it's a tedious and heavy task but there is a way you can become ingenious about your masonry work and uh, people seek for you it is about the precision if you cannot do the masonry yourself you can actually supervise somebody doing it so that is a very key aspect to consider finally you can also consider doing welding and fabrication let me tell you what you can get out of these aspects you can just tell yourself you want to be a door maker and you do iron doors think it through do the iron doors that have uh, sound insulation and also do it and you know that being an iron door you can have some certain level of fire rating so you need to understand how long would it take fire to pass through or to consume that metal once you get that technical information then you put a specification to it and your product will have technical specification can you see what you what, what you're missing out you're already having a, an industry that is hungry and you are not producing for such industry you can do burglary bars you can do all sort of things you can even do the reinforcements that are being done for reinforced concrete so there is too numerous for you to do as an architecture student let me tell you this maybe you did not just know you would be asking how would I go? How would I make all these things that he's telling me to do when I don't even have money in me? Yes, I know you don't have money, but there's always a way. And listen to me. You can just walk up to any of these artisans that offer already is already offering these services or is already serving in the industry, ranging from the tiler 
to the iron monger to the carpenter just walk up to them and tell them you want to learn and i must tell you anybody who wants to learn will be taught there is no way you will seek knowledge that you will not find it if you go they will open up to you they will teach you be humble plan yourself if you have holidays go and learn it during your holidays if you have weekends go and learn it during weekends help them give them technical knowledge too that will help don't just go there and you don't have something to offer now that is not all do you know that with marketing their products you can make so much money these people don't know how to sell themselves they just believe that anybody who wants to buy will come and buy but you can collate their products into a catalog and go ahead and market it now how do you make money from marketing it? You won't just go and market it. You put, you put what they call markup. This will not be taught in classroom. Remember, I'm giving you this from my heart. It is a passion that I want you to make money so that you will be happy to study architecture and you carry the profession to the higher level. Go ahead and market it. Put your markup. The client comes to get it. You go back and get the work done where these things are being produced, especially for those who are doing fabrication. Do you understand the point? So if you have questions, feel free to drop these questions in the comments section. If you have things that you would also want me to elaborate more on, feel free to ask that. If you even have comments that you want to say you like this, feel free to, to say it. Don't call me and tell me I like you. Just drop it here so that someone else will know that you are learning. Then you will not be doing well by not sharing. That will be a disservice to humanity. Share so that another person will get this information and make money as you're going to make money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>